everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Saturday afternoon, October the 19th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Seven stake races on the card this afternoon for the Empire Showcase Stakes at Belmont Park, including race number 4, 154 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Iroquois Stakes, seven furlong sprint on the dirt. Phillies and Mares, three years old enough, race for 100 and fifty thousand dollars contenders number five cluster of stars number six willet number eight vicky's dancer and number one miss valentine well folks the iroquois stakes is named for the confederacy of north american indians which was founded in the 16th century the iroquois resided in the region which is now included in central new york state this year's a version the 34th running of the stakes event for New York Breads number five cluster of stars drops in class by 11 units speed leader in this field is undefeated in a six race career to date winning all six in power run fashion jockey Javier Castellano has been in his irons for three of those wins en route to a positive 100 73 percent return on investment in the process back today for ride number four gunning for a hat trick win number six Willett hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five including back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two starts race four summary number five cluster of stars tops the containers list today here at belmont which also includes number six willet number eight vicky's dancer and number one miss valentine's five six eight one in the fourth from belmont the hundred and fifty thousand dollar iroquois stakes let's go to keeneland kentucky next for race nine 5.23 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Raven Run Stakes. Seven furlongs on the cushion dirt drag grade two three-year-old fillies. Race for a quarter of a million dollars. Tenders number 10, my option. Number five, Lighthouse Bay. Number four, Silstita. And number 12, Prime for Passion. Number 10, my option. An eight-to-one shot on top, folks. Has hit the board in power run fashion each of her last five outings, including a pair of power run wins in her third and fifth races back. Jockey Eduardo Perez has been in her irons on eight previous occasions, hitting the board in each of those adventures, winning four back today for ride number nine. Number five, Lighthouse Bay, a four to one shot in her own right, has produced power runs in four straight, hitting the board in three, including back to back power run wins in her second and third races back. Race number nine summary, number ten, my option, top contenders list today here at Keeneland, which also includes number five, Lighthouse Bay. Number four, Sil Sita, and number twelve, Prime for Passion, ten five, four twelve in the ninth from Keeneland, the quarter of a million dollar grade two Raven run stakes. Bonus long shots, nine stake races on the card tonight here at Charlestown. Let's take a look at race eight here in the five hundred thousand dollar West Virginia. Breeders Classic Stakes, the six to one shot. Number one, Russell Road. Sit the board in five straight with no finish worse than second, including a power run win in his third race back. Facing substantially better company. That's 13 track master units more in that race than he faces here in the Saturday feature tonight. Turf Paradise, race number seven, the 12 to one bomb. Number two, Baby's Corner. Nice speed for the six furlong sprint here in the $35,000 ATBA fall sales stakes. So handicapping from both Belmont and Keeneland on a stakesville Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.